2035. Russia continues its nuclear saber rattling in Ukraine. North Korea is hell bent on developing the capability to deliver nuclear weapons at longer ranges, conducting dozens of missile tests in this last year. And Iran, it's weeks away from obtaining nuclear weapons. But on Sunday night, President Biden said, and I'm quoting him, the only existential threat humanity faces even more frightening than a nuclear war is global warming above 1.5 degrees in the next 10 years, end quote. The leader, the leader of the free world believes that global warming is a bigger threat to global security than nuclear war. Now, I'm not dismissing the importance of our climate. We should continue to take responsible, common sense action to address climate change. And we should support an all of the above energy strategy. We should promote policies to ensure that we have clean air, clean water. And we should do that without hindering economic prosperity or burdening hardworking Americans and their families. But the President's claim that global warming is more frightening than nuclear war sends the wrong signal to our adversaries and to our allies. It demonstrates a total ignorance of the instability of today's global threat environment. The Strategic Forces Subcommittee, where I'm ranking member, specifically oversees our country's nuclear forces. And based on the hundreds of official hearings, briefings, and documents that we have analyzed, I can tell you with all confidence that the most fright frightening threat to global security today is the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP made it crystal clear that it wants to fundamentally alter global deterrence dynamics. China's relentless military buildup has outpaced anything that we could have imagined. Like I said earlier, China wants to triple its nuclear arsenal over the next decade, and it's well on its way to meet that goal, if not exceed it. U.S. Strategic Command, or STRATCOM, is located in my home state of Nebraska. And they confirmed earlier this year that China possesses more intercontinental ballistic missile launchers than we do here in the United States. China is developing a subsonic stealth bomber that's essentially a copycat of our B-2 bomber. It's continuing work on Jin-class submarines capable of carrying over 12 nuclear missiles at a time. To the people of the United States, let me say this. For the first time in history, the United States will face two adversaries who are peer nuclear powers, China and Russia. And that is the biggest national security threat we face. And when the President says that climate change is more frightening than nuclear war, he is downplaying the serious, terrifying possibility that China puts its nuclear weapons to use. This administration neglects our nuclear arsenal, while our adversaries, well, they prioritize theirs. This administration has done things like try to cancel the sea-launched cruise missile program, or SLICM. SLICM would fill a known, a known capability gap. It would allow us to more effectively deter China or Russia 
from using a nuclear weapon, which is part of their escalate to de-escalate strategy. Well, Congress has pushed back on the President in a bipartisan and a bicameral way when it comes to him canceling Slickham. It is past time for this administration to get serious about the existential threat that China poses. The President, he needs to tackle this issue, issue head on and not trivialize it. Well, one way that President Biden can do this is by signing this year's National Defense Authorization Act. The Senate successfully passed this year's NDAA by a significant bipartisan majority, 86 to 11. I led provisions to accelerate the modernization of our nuclear triad, our land, our sea-based nuclear weapons, and our air-based ones. This military capabilities that we have, they are essential to keeping adversaries like China in check. China will be less likely to use its weapons if it believes that we can and that we will hit back harder. Once the NDAA gets to the President's desk, he should sign this legislation without hesitating for a moment. Let's not put nuclear war on the back burner. Let us step forward. Let us show China that it has no chance against the United States of America. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.